Hello and welcome to another GCSE PE related video. Today I'm going to run through a GCSE PE video that's targeted towards this year's examinations. And please, before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. In relation to this topic, you also need to be able to interpret a spirometer trace. So a spirometer is a piece of equipment that you might use to measure lung volumes. So there are four types of lung volume that you need to understand. There's tidal volume, there's inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume and residual volume. So let's build on that. I have my small trusty whiteboard to help support your understanding. So tidal volume, I want you to envisage that you're sat down on the beach on your favorite deck chair in the sun, watching the tide, the tide comes in and the tide goes out and it just repeats. That just happens over and over again. So tidal volume is breathing at rest. So it refers to the amount of air that you take in during normal inhalation whilst resting. So to illustrate that on my whiteboard, you will see on the left hand side that tidal volume is illustrated with these small dips, so these small curved lines. So I breathe out, I breathe in, I breathe out and so on. Now you need to understand that during exercise tidal volume increases and of course it does because you need to take in more oxygen when partaking in exercise and you also need to remove more CO2 from the body when exercising. So it's only natural that of course tidal volume increases. Now your second lung volume inspiratory reserve volume refers to the extra amount of air you take in on top of tidal volume. Okay, so let's just imagine that we're breathing out, we're breathing in, we're breathing out, we're breathing in, we're breathing out. When I forcefully inhale, that additional amount of air that I take in on top of tidal volume is my inspiratory reserve volume. So it's the extra amount of air that I take in above what I would usually take in at rest. And likewise, if we move down here to ERV, this is expiratory reserve volume. Now it's exactly the same thing as IRV, but it just refers to the extra additional air that we forcefully breathe out on top of tidal volume. Okay, so I breathe in, <gasps> and then I forcefully breathe out. So I've, I'll do that again for you. I breathe in and I forcefully breathe out. So that extra amount of air that I breathe out on top of tidal volume is expiratory reserve volume. And then at the bottom here, you can see RV. So that's residual volume. So that's the amount of air that remains in the lungs. That never ever changes. So that's just the amount of air that remains in the lungs, whether we inhale, whether we exhale, whether we inhale deeply, whether we exhale forcefully, residual volume never changes. It's the amount of air that remains in the lungs. Okay, so just to run through that again, tidal volume, I'm breathing out, I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out, I'm breathing in. I breathe out, I breathe in deeply, I forcefully blow out and I continue to breathe normally. Now, this is a trace at rest. Obviously, if I were to exercise, these lines would become deeper and higher. So they'd start to take up more space on my whiteboard. And what that would mean is that we would start to eat into our inspiratory reserve volume and our expiratory reserve volume. So during exercise, as tidal volume increases because we're breathing in more, our reserve volumes decrease because all of a sudden there's less volume, there's less reserve volume available because we've eaten into that by breathing in more forcefully 
during exercise. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found it helpful. Good luck in your exams this year. And please, 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 if you do have any questions or concerns, please just share them in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help. Thanks for joining me. Take care. See you again soon.